pretty soon when you're walking down the street with your smartphone, you'll be able to access lots of great deals along the way. Rob Woodbridge is here to talk more about location-based marketing. Hey, Rob. Hello, Amber. So explain a little more about how this work for, works for people out there who just don't understand the technology at all. Well, it's, it's uh, really about creating a relationship with a customer based on your location and giving them a little bit more value just to engender that love from companies. So it's really simple. How big is this world? Because there's companies like Foursquare, GoWalla, there's lots of people out there doing it, but how, how big is it truly as far as growth in 2011? Well, it, in terms of the growth of the number of companies, it seems like every day there's a new company that gets into the space or puts a new angle on existing uh, business, but number of users can range from a low end of a million users for something like GoWalla all the way up to Facebook, which is, uh, you know, 600, 600 million people, or half of that at least, uh, would be using this service. So it's a pretty big market. Give me an example of one of these companies that is doing a great job of getting out there and getting people to actually download these apps on their phones. Well, there, there's one that's great because it, it leverages your location and adds a little gaming mechanism on top of it. It's called Scavenger. It's based out of Boston, and this is a company that you check into a location, but you don't just check in and receive something passively. You have to do something. You have to go up and uh, take a picture with somebody or do some kind of scavenger hunt at the location. And it, it actually catches on very virally. Now, there's one thing about location-based marketing that I think excites people, but on the other hand, it really makes a lot of people nervous because you are sharing your physical location with people out there. So talk a little bit about some of these fears. Are they warranted? Well, you know, you've said this many times before, is that if you are afraid of giving up your location, don't, don't use the software. You always have that choice. And a lot of people have backed away from using it because of that. But, but ultimately, you have, to, uh, you have to be very cautious. I would never check in in my home. Um, I would check in in a location and uh, that actually allowed me to receive something, some kind of benefit. So everybody's got a price. So you just need to make sure that you're safe and you just limit who has access to this information. What do you think is the future of location-based marketing? Because we really just are at the beginning of this world. Well, it is, and, and I think that we're going to see some great evolution that happens as a result of uh, this particular technology. We're going to see a lot of... Uh, bigger deals that come through. We're going to see a lot of, um, unfortunately, some advertising that gets pushed to you. Based so ads on within the apps themselves? Absolutely. And then also, uh, based on your proximity, you're actually going to be receiving ads that you've signed up for. So, uh, you know, there's a, a great uh, example in, in the UK where O2 and Marks and & Spencer have created a relationship, and if you walk by a Marks & Spencer, you'll get a notification that you get a free smoothie. So it's, oh, it's so small. Good. But it's just beginning. And we're, we're really at the, at the front end of this industry. Well, it's an exciting world. Thank you so much. You can find out more about location-based marketing on our website.